Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas on Monday, December the 3rd, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, we're going to be remembering President Bush, uh, the late President Bush, uh, quite a bit this week. Uh, there's going to be a ceremony in Washington, then he'll be flown back to Texas for the fin final burial at Texas A&M uh, University. And today I'm going to remember three things about this man's life that... Uh, or three times, I should say, that I was so happy that George Bush was present. The first time was in March of 1981 when President Reagan was shot. Uh, as some of you may remember, there was a time there that afternoon when we weren't really sure if President Reagan was going to make it. I mean, he was uh, hurt significantly. He survived uh, thanks to the great work of the doctors and a little bit of good luck, like always. But there was a time there when it didn't look really good for President Reagan. And I remember when I got the news, I was in Mexico City when I got the news, and I remember uh, just saying to myself, thank God, you know, that George Bush is there. He would be assuming the presidency in the event uh, that uh, the assassination had been successful. Obviously, it wasn't, and President Reagan served uh, two very successful terms. But it was comforting at that time to know that President uh, Reagan was supported by a vice president like George Bush. Later in 1981, during the first Gulf War, you may remember that at one point in the war, uh, the, the Iraqis began firing Scud missiles to Israel. And it really had the potential of creating a big problem in that Gulf War. Israel had uh, maintained its neutral neutrality, but obviously if, if there's somebody shooting missiles at them, they're gonna defend themselves. And it was really President Bush who was able to convince the Israelis, no, don't retaliate, let me take care of it for you. And he did. The United States Air Force took out the sites where these Scud missiles were being fired. And by keeping Israel out of the Gulf War, uh, we were able to complete the objectives of the, of the coalition. And one more time, in the summer, uh, August, September of 1991, when there was a coup in the Soviet Union and they tried to, uh, you know, the, there was a hardline group there that tried to take over and uh, Gorbachev was thrown out of, out of the country and thrown into exile. And, you know, at the time, of course, it wasn't so much the internal politics of the Soviet Union that were of concern to us, that was pretty big. But the big question was who's, who, who's controlling the nuclear weapons? I mean, when you have a country like the Soviet Union with a huge military and nuclear weapons, well, obviously, you know, you wanted to make sure that the nuclear weapons were under control. So those three times, the assassination of President Reagan or the assassination attempt of President Reagan and later uh, the Gulf War and then the, the coup against Gorbachev in 91, those three times uh, were three times that I remember saying to myself, thank God that George Bush is around. Thank God that George Bush is there uh, uh, to protect the country and to be there if necessary uh, with President Reagan. So that's what I remember of the great uh, George H. W. Bush, and we're remembering him this week. Uh, just a great president, a great man, someone who I admire a great deal. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube. We have them on Twitter. We have them on my blog. And if December the 3rd is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.